I was asked a super long time ago to do like a makeup tutorial about the products that I use. So finally getting around to it. Um, obviously not sponsored by any of these like brands. I just like what I like and that's what I use because I'm not a professional makeup artist and I don't even know if I'm doing it correctly. I just have found what I think looks best on me. Um, but I'm always looking for tips on how to do my makeup better. So if you see this and you're like, you're doing this wrong, please let me know because I just do what I do and it turns out okay for me. So I look like a normal functioning human being when I put on makeup. So that's the look I'm going for, I guess. Um, so yeah, hopefully this video turns out okay. Um, yeah, let's get started. So I put on moisturizer first just because my face is very dry with this winter weather that we're having. Um, and then once I do that, I've been using this um, Radiant Defense, which is like, it's kind of like a foundation, um, but it's better for your skin. So I like that and I like that it has the SPF in it. Um, obviously for me in my skin, I don't really need a whole lot of cover coverage. I just need to like even out my face and make it look one color. Um, so yeah, so what I do is I will just put like a bunch on my finger and then just put it like dots all over my face. Um, and then I have a brush that goes with it and I'll just blend it into my face so that I'm evened out. And then once I've done my face, I'll usually go down and take it onto my neck too, um, just so that it's all one color and my face doesn't look different than my neck because that ain't cute and I don't know it's not the look I'm going for all right and then sometimes just to make sure that it's in there I'll just go over it um and then I take this airbrush concealer from benefit and I Put that under my eye and I'll just take like a good amount and I try to make like I don't know somewhere I saw once that you need to like make a triangle under your eye so I always try to do that and then yeah so then it like looks like this I've tried to use a beauty blender and put it in that way and it just never looks right for me. So I always just use my finger. Um, if anyone has any tips for how to do it better with a beauty blender, I'm all for it. I've tried wetting it. I've tried it not wet because that's originally how I thought you're supposed to use it and neither one works for me. So my finger it is, I know how to use my finger. I can make it look good with my finger. So. I'm open to tips for the beauty blender or something else, but for right now, this is what it is. So I'll just go in there, try to blend it in in like a triangle so that my under eyes don't look terrible. Sometimes I'll like take it up my nose to try to do some sort of contour thing. Depends on the day, you know, how I'm feeling. Um, but yeah. So once it's like kind of blended in there and looks pretty good, usually I'll go in with my all nighter setting spray just so I can like set this. Um, and then that way everything I add on top of it, I feel like at least this is set. Um, yeah. Okay. 
Um, and then what else do I do? Then I'll just kind of go in there, make sure that's in. Um, then I use this Rodan and Fields peptide powder. Um, I probably should get a setting powder, but this is just what I use. I like that it kind of makes me look tanner when I'm not so tan. And I feel like it's just looks really nice. It also has SPF in it too. And I just use a little bit. Um, so I'll just put it all over my face. I think it would be pretty too. I have um, a darker color and just to go in and like contour all of that. But for like my everyday, I just kind of put it all over my face and my neck. And yeah, that's about it. Um, once I do that, then I go in with my blush, which I love the Tarte. This one is Dazzled. Um, I have not found a better blush. I've tried the NARS Orgasm. Not a fan, really. I don't know. It's too pink for me, so I don't love it, but this one is the one that I like. I just think it's like a pretty shade, um that is nice and it's not too pink but looks good okay um then i use this laura geller highlighter in gilded honey which clearly i love because i am running out i am like all the way at the bottom and i just haven't bought a new one yet because I'm really trying to get this all in. So I use this Urban Decay brush. I know it's not for highlighter, but it's just what I've used for so long. I even went out and bought a highlighter brush, but I feel like now that I'm like at the end of my highlighter, it just doesn't get in there as good. So this is what I use for now. Eventually when I get a new one, I will use that highlighting brush, but this one works just as good. So I'll take it, put it on my cheekbones. I don't know, maybe I'm like going overkill on the highlighter, but I just really like it. And then I go down my nose at the top. Um, sometimes if I'm feeling crazy, I'll put it like under my eyebrows. Um, then I use this gimme brow. This one is shade two, um, but I like it cause it kind of like plumps your eyebrows up so that they have like some volume. And then it also has like a nice color to it. I feel like it would probably be similar to the boy brow. I've heard that that one's like really great. Um, by Glossier, but I just haven't used that one yet because I like that I can like go to Ulta pick this one up It's easy Whatever, so This is what I use for now, but maybe I'll try something new um, So Go in there Try to make my eyebrows presentable, especially since I haven't gotten the wax in a while and I really need to. Um, yeah. So then when I had my lash lift and tint, I didn't need to curl them, but because it's been like over two months, I've started to have to curl them again just because like some have gone down. Like the ones at the end are still, you know, sticking up and looking really cute from the lash lift and tint but for the most part like the ones in the middle are not and so now I have to use my curling again and yeah I'm ready to get a lash lift and tint again because this part is the worst I think so I always like go into a close mirror just because I want to make sure that I get all my eyelashes in here otherwise it's very painful um but yeah, I'll like hold it for a couple of seconds and then look.
looks good. And then the other eye, squeeze it a little bit. And then, so then they're curled. Um, and then same thing, when I had my lash lift in 10, I found myself not really wearing mascara that much, which I loved. It just made life so much easier. I would literally like go out like this, maybe put on some lipstick and call it a day. And it was just so nice. So if you have questions about a lash lift intent, feel free to ask because I cannot say enough good things about it. And I feel like it's so, so worth the money. Mine lasted like two months, which was awesome. I wish that I would have gone on like a beach vacation where I didn't even need to wear mascara because it would have been perfect for that. Um, so yeah, highly recommend. But so now that my eyelashes are getting back to their normal like light brown blonde color, I have been using the Hourglass Caution Mascara and I really like it a lot. For a long time I was a big better than sex mascara person and I still really do love that one. The only thing is it would get very clumpy very fast. So then I found out a trick to only buy like the travel size ones. That way they get, there's still enough product, but less to like get clumpy. So that's a trick for you. Um, but so then I tried this one just cause I wanted to like try something new. I heard really good things about this one and I really do like it. I like that the brush for this one is smaller, so I feel like you can kind of get in there more. Um, so, both are really good. Would highly recommend both. I just don't like that the other one got clumpy so fast. And then that is really it. If I'm going out somewhere, I will put on a lip color. My faves right now are probably the Yve or Yves or however you say it, Saint Laurent. Um, or I really like Styla, Stila. Those have been like my faves for a while. Um, but because we're not going out anywhere, I don't really need to put on any lip color. But yeah, that's really about it. That's how I get my face looking presentable and ready to go in the morning. Would love to figure out how to do eyeshadow just for like a special event so that I know how to do it. Um, but I don't know how to do that. So if anyone can help me, I am very open to learning. Um, but yeah, that's how I do my makeup.